many of people should uh, wake up and see the times that we are definitely living in. If y'all can see from the video, uh, the video clip of the artificial, uh, this little technology thing that they're trying to really push. And, you know, where people have almost like have technology babies. I mean, that's where things are starting to really go. You know, these are just the craziest time where they are really trying to play God. They're trying to test God. They're trying to mess with a lot of stuff uh, to, uh, to try to tempt the Lord to come back sooner than ever. But God have his own time of when he's going to return on earth and to come get his people. And these are the things that you're just completely seeing. You know, every each and every day is always like they're, they're always trying to see what they can do or what they can get away with. And, you know, with the, you know, science and technology and social media. And they're just they're just trying to do whatever they can do to control. It's all about control. It's not about trying to help nobody. It's all about control. They're pushing more of uh, technology, baby, because they want to be able to have more control over our minds. It's all about, you know, alter, you know, mind control. They, they, they want to be able to control every aspect of our lives and how we think, how we move, how we do certain things. They want to control all, all of that. And this is just the spirit of the Antichrist that's moving behind all this. He's secretly moving through behind all this stuff to push all this wicked stuff out. And you tell people that these are the end days and people still don't believe it because people don't want to believe that there's a war going on. People don't want to believe that it's something happening or amongst of all of us. They, they don't want they don't want to understand that and come to knowledge of that because why they, they're possibly too afraid. And uh, and you really get canceled for talking about this kind of stuff because no matter what, a man is supposed to uh, 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 be with a woman and then they pro uh, procreate. She's supposed to get pregnant and give birth to a child. That's the normal way. But it's like if you say it that way on social media or anywhere else, you'll get canceled because why? They want you to have their mindset, which is the worldly mindset. Everything they're taking of God, like 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 they're, like they're telling men to go be with a man and tell the woman, go be with a woman. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can't say nothing about that. No, it's coming against anything that's coming against the word of God, anything that's twisting it up. That's the spirit of the Antichrist. That's what he's come to do. He's come to twist God's word. And this is the stuff that you are seeing now. This is why so many people are brainwashed. And the Bible talks about in the end days will be strong delusions sent out because people don't want to believe the truth. You know, these are just the times that we, you know, that we're truly living in. And, you know, so many people, they're going to fall for this kind of stuff. And that's that's the sad part. So many people are going to fall for this. They're going to think, oh, this is OK and all this and that. But you don't understand that you're going by the beast system. You're going by the beast because when the beast actually comes, when the Antichrist actually come, you're going to you're going to easily be influenced of everything that he do. You're going to be, oh, he's doing signs and wonders. He's doing this. He's doing that. You're going to easily believe it because what he's doing is he's warming everybody up. He's getting people prepared. He's grab he's gripping people's minds. So when he arrives, people are going to easily believe that he's the Christ and he's not, you know? So this is one of the things that we really need to start waking up and realizing that these are the end days and the end times. You no, know, whether people don't want to believe it or not, these are the end times. This, there's a war that is, is going on behind through all this stuff. And if you if you get up on here and tell the truth, this is why they go around canceling a lot of people. This is why, because they don't like the truth. The devil don't like the truth. Nobody likes the truth. They'll 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 fight the truth more than anything. But if you get on social media and get on a platform and start lying about literally everything, you're going to get a bunch of money. You're going to get a bunch of benefits. You're going to get a bunch of views. You're going to get all that because why you're you're going with the world. You're going with the mindset of the world. So this is why, you know. You know, my videos don't get out there like that. This is the reason why they, they come against me. This is why they do certain things tweaking around, my, you know, on my apps and stuff, because I stand on truth. And I can't help it. That's just within me. I love truth, you know, but a lot of people, they don't like truth because why it messes with their flesh. You know, so these are just the, the end times that we're in where we really need to be playing, uh, praying over the nations. But God is going to destroy all this stuff. He's going to destroy it. At some point, he's going to say, okay, enough is enough. But God is in control. The Bible said the government shall be on his shoulders. So no matter what these people think that they're doing, God God is in control. And if he's allowing it for a reason, he's allowing it for a reason. You know, but they can't do no more than what God allows. That's what we have to keep in mind. They can't do no more than what God allows. You know, 
guy, guy, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to, uh, quickly destroy this stuff, but it's going to be on his own timing. He, he knows when he knows when he gets to a point where he's like, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to shut this down. You know, there's already, there's already been warnings been sent out and stuff. God is not playing. And I, and people think because they got millions and billions of dollars that they can just play God. You can't just play God like that. You we're, we're talking about the creator of, of the universe. That's what you're, that's what we're talking about. And you really trying to play against him. Come on. People don't understand what they are doing. They don't understand what they are doing and how much trouble that they are in trying to play God, trying to manipulate God, trying to do whatever they can do to fool God. And, and these people, and the sad thing is these people, they know who Jesus Christ is. They know who he is. They know exactly what he is. That's why they keep coming against his word. That's why they're doing the opposite of his word. A man supposed to be with a woman and a woman supposed to be with a man. Uh, no, that's not how we think. A woman can be with a woman. A man can be with a man. That's final. What? So now you're the spirit of the Antichrist. And it ain't just like just a man of the Antichrist. You can have the Antichrist spirit all over. If you don't, if you don't uh, at all, you know, you come against uh, the word of God or you twist up his word. Or that's like me. If I were to twist up God's word, I, I would instantly become I, I would instantly have the spirit of the answer Christ for that moment because that's not of God. And so people really need to wake up and see that the times that we are truly living in. That the devil, he's coming even more bold. And so we need to come even more bolder. Because no matter what, God's always he's always got a rim in the bush. The devil come this way. He's going to always come another way. But we have to know that for ourselves. We need to come together as a body of Christ and fight these things because these, it's, 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 it's getting bad. It's getting bad out here, especially in the United States. It's getting bad out here. They are really trying to control a lot of stuff because that's what it's all about. They, these people don't care about nobody. They just want to be able to control. So as you can see, they're moving so many things in technology. They're, they're moving things so quickly in technology because why they they if they want to be able to make you do this and make you do that they have a button that they can press or if you don't agree with us or you don't uh follow the way we walk or you know say the things that we say oh we're gonna turn your bank account off you know if you don't get this if you don't get the the shot we're gonna dismiss you you know they just want to have you in this box and they don't want you to do anything. You try to go out to the box, they'll, they'll slap you right back into the box. That's how it is in this world right now. Because it's all about control. At the end of the day, these people don't care. It's all about control. What they want to do. What they feel like they, they can get away with. So, y'all just need to just pray. Because these are the end days. I didn't never thought I would, uh, the day I would see all this wicked stuff that's happening around. All in one year, that should wake somebody up that to, to let them know that it is it is close. It is it is Jesus is soon to, uh, to come, and it's very close. We didn't see all this stuff twenty years ago, so it just goes to show you, man, time is moving, but people don't want to believe it. But you better believe it. Give your heart to Jesus Christ, because when He crack open the skies, are you going to be ready? Something to really think about. God bless y'all.